Hey everybody, now if you took a look at our other two videos, the first two videos, uh, we started off looking at Google Plus and we took a look at how you start up an account in Google Plus, how you edit your profile. Uh, the second video we looked at connecting with other people and using communities and developing a personal learning network and basically just getting around Google Plus. So at this point, I want to look at one of the features of, a, of Google Plus that I really enjoy. Um, and that's Hangouts. Now Hangouts really, it's not, it's folded into Google Plus in many ways, it's its own resource, uh, but it's so intertwined with what happens in Google Plus and it's such a powerful tool. I think that it's something that we need to use more often in our classrooms um, and, when, and also when we learn and when we connect with others. Um, so I just received a notification that I haven't checked out. So I'm looking at Mr. Jingles here uh, and Mike, the gentleman that I added from the last video, he just added me back. Uh, so that's cool. I'll click this and now I know that all my notifications are done. So now I want to take a look at Hangouts. Um, now I have, I use Chrome as my browser, so I have a couple plugins here. So this is where it lists all my Hangouts. A Hangout is basically a communication tool. So it's a little bit of an instant messenger, it's a little bit of a video conferencing tool, and it intertwines everything all together. The nice thing about Hangouts, and I think the best part about Hangouts, is it's device agnostic, and, and so what happens is you have ubiquitous access to these communication pieces. So I can use this on my computer, and I can have a hangout with somebody that's on an iPhone or an iPad or an Android tablet or an Android phone. Um, so no matter where individuals are, I can communicate with them. So frequently, um, you know, I'll be at my desk on my computer and I'll, ha and I'll send a video call out to a colleague on a phone or on a tablet. I've used this when I'm away on business trips where I'll use my cell phone and start a video conference or a hangout with my family at home on our Nexus 7. Uh, it's a nice real way to have video conferencing. The nice thing about Hangouts is also that it's free. You can have video conferencing with up to 10 people. Uh, so frequently we'll use this um, to connect with others. Also Hangouts is tied into your YouTube channel. So there's a way to have what's called a Hangout on Air. You can live broadcast to your YouTube channel and then it will be saved on your YouTube channel afterwards. We use this a lot in our classes. If we have a discussion that not everyone can be there for, we'll have a hangout on air, and then afterwards people can go back and they can watch the video. So let's take a look at how to start a hangout. So over here I have my hangouts tab, and this might be in different places for you depending on how you have it set up or, the, or what changes, but if I want to start a hangout with one person. So I can click on my brother-in-law here and he's asking what we're doing this weekend. If I want I can just text back and I can say are you if I could type coming over this weekend and so I can send him a text message this will pop up on his computer, it will pop up on his cell phone, wherever he might be I can also video chat with him. So if I click on video call, I can start up a video chat with him right away. And it'll ring him wherever he might be, on his cell phone. Um, right now, this is all black. It's not green, so he's probably not online. But I'm going to close this out. So I can do it with individual people or a group of people. So I can type in a couple people. Say, so I, I want to have a hangout with Greg. Actually, I don't want to do that. I can start a hangout with Erica and with Greg and with Jim. And up here I can see that I can start a chat, uh, instant message chat or a video conference. Um, and this is a powerful tool because then you don't have to drive in to go to a meeting for an hour and meet with other people. I advise my students in my grad program to use this tool because it's a way for them to quickly meet with others, talk about their work and then not have to travel and basically get their work done and get back to it. 
I also use Hangouts as a way to have my students ask me questions, have like a, an op open office or a help desk for students. Uh, the last thing I'll show you is a Hangout on Air. So go back over here to Home, go to Hangouts on Air, and I can see there's already a ton of Hangouts on Air out there. So if I want to learn about, um, you know, different pieces of other Hangouts that are out there on a variety of topics, I can view those. Some are live right now, and I can ask questions. But if I want to start my own, I'm going to click on Start a Hangout on Air. Let me pull this down a little bit so you can see the whole window. So it's going to have me title it. I'm going to say test. I could add individual people to start, but I'm just going to leave it blank and hit start hangout on air. And there I am. You'll see me here. Here's my video call. It's going to prepare my broadcast. My webcam is probably throwing fits because I'm using the mic and also using the video. But here it's getting the broadcast ready to go. If I want to embed or send this link out to other people, it's up here. Over here on the side, I can mute my mic, mute my camera. One of the great tools here is bandwidth usage. If I wanted to, I can click this and I can scale down the amount of bandwidth I'm using. So if you're in a place, there you go, I look even better. If you're in a place that doesn't have great bandwidth or it starts to get choppy, you can scale it down. I can change my settings so I can change the mic and the webcam I'm using. I can hang up. Uh, here is a group chat so people that are in the Hangout, they can chat with one another. Also over here, I can screen share. So instead of looking at my face, my mug, you can look at parts of my screen. So if I'm walking people through pieces of a document, I can use that. Uh, one of the last pieces that I'll show you is um, Hangout Toolbox is a way to put a couple nice pieces in there. A, couple, uh, a lot of people like to have their name underneath of their head. So what I do is I use Hangout Toolbox and it will allow me to go in and I can add my name underneath my picture. It's backwards for me right now, but on the video call it comes out correctly. So the way to find that is, over here I have a bunch of different apps already. I have Scoot and Doodle, which is a nice tool for using graphic organizers. If I go to view more apps over here, uh, Kaku is a nice online drawing graphic organizer tool. But if I go to Add Apps, I can go find a ton of different apps that I can add into the Hangout. And the one that I recommend is Hangout Toolbox. So once again, if I hit Start Broadcast, this thing is going to be broadcast live to my YouTube channel. Um, and this is a Hangout on Air. So I can automatically broadcast to my channel. And I can share this with others. So once again, this is the third video on Google+. This one was a little bit longer. We wanted to take a look at Hangouts and Hangouts on Air. And it's a very powerful video conferencing, text messaging, communication tool that you can use in and outside of Google+.